All Protectly Vault models include an external COM port, short for communications port, that can be used to view the vault's console output on a connected computer via a serial console cable. This COM port is simply a redirect from the vault's display output, whether it be HDMI or DisplayPort. The output is used before an operating system boots, giving the user the ability to use the COM port instead of the HDMI or display ports for things like adjusting BIOS settings if needed. The COM output will translate the display into a text and color based output. You won't see a fully detailed graphical user interface with intricate images, and some OS's may not support COM output. Connecting the COM port is relatively simple. All FW Vault models come with a DB9 to RJ45 COM cable. Given that there aren't many computers with DB9 ports these days, you'll want to make sure you have a USB to serial adapter, as well as the COM cable that was supplied with your vault. Plug your serial port adapter into your computer. For those who don't want to use an adapter, we offer our Protect the USB console cable on our website. Necessary drivers should be automatically installed for Windows and Linux when connected. If they don't, check out the com slash serial connection knowledge base article on our website, linked below. The V-series vaults, the V1210 and the V1410, come with a USB-C COM cable. This cable will work with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and other operating systems. The VP2410, VP2420, VP4630, VP4650, and VP4670 come with a micro USB to USB-A COM cable. For Windows, you'll be required to download compatible drivers, which can be found in the video description. This cable will not work with Mac OS. The VP6630, VP6650, and VP6670 can use either an RJ45 or USB-C COM cable. Many OS's will prioritize the RJ45 port, so you'll need to make some changes in the BIOS for USB-C COM output. Instructions can be found in the Knowledge Base article on our website, mentioned earlier, linked below. We'll be continuing to release new products after this video is uploaded, so if I didn't mention your particular vault model, check out the Knowledge Base article on our website for more current information. By default, the vault serial port is enabled. Out of the box, you can connect the RJ45 or micro USB or USB-C end of the COM cable to the port labeled COM on the vault. If you're using the RJ45 COM cable, do not plug the COM port RJ45 into any of the vault's network ports. When you plug your COM cable into your computer, it'll be given a specific COM port number, which will be needed when configuring your serial console. How you view this port number varies depending on which operating system you're using. On Linux, you can find the COM's cable name by running the command sudo dmesg followed by pipe or the vertical bar symbol grep tty in the terminal. You can then use a program like Minicom to view COM output. We'll leave a link in the video description for documentation on how to do this. Here's how you use the COM connection on Windows. First, open up your Device Manager by searching for Device Manager in your Windows search bar. After opening the Device Manager, drop down the Ports section. In the example on screen, our USB serial port was given the name COM4. On your computer, you'll need to use extra software in order to access the COM port. In Windows, PuTTY is a popular choice. We'll leave a link to that in the video description too. After downloading, installing, and opening PuTTY, you'll find yourself at a screen that looks similar to this. First, click Serial under Connection Type, then adjust your serial line to correlate with your previously determined COM number. Next, change the speed to be 115200. This is the default value that the vault is set to. If you plan to use this regularly, keep in mind you can save these settings by clicking the Save button. Next, click Open and you'll see a blank terminal window open. Power on your vault and you should start to see the equivalent of the VGA or HDMI output in the console window. If you wish to access the vault's BIOS, you can do so by holding down the delete key as the vault boots. Make sure the display window is active while you're doing this and that you haven't clicked outside of the window. You should see a screen that looks something like this. If you're running certain operating systems like OpenSense, PFSense, or Linux, you may not see any output from the COM port after booting the OS. In OpenSense or PFSense, this is likely because you have the VGA image installed rather than the serial image. 
If that's the case, you can either change the default output to serial via the OS's web GUI, or reinstall the serial image version of the OS instead. On Linux, you'll likely need to do some additional configuration to allow the OS to display COM output. We'll put a link to Ubuntu's official documentation on how to configure serial output in the video description. The COM port on the Protectly Vault can be a powerful tool for troubleshooting and configuration, especially in remote server management or fixing misconfigurations. If you haven't used it yet, I encourage you to try it out, as it can be a real time saver. If you need more details or if you run into any issues, check out our Knowledge Base article, linked in the video description. And as always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and thanks for watching!